Hey guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And today I'm going to do a back and bicep workout with some rear delts to show you exactly how I'm working on my back thickness. And you will see that I made some progression as well, which I'm very pleased about, having seen my back in action on film in a while, so seeing it like this certainly is a motivational tool and I advise a lot of you guys to do it as well I get a lot of emails of people saying they're not making progress but taking pictures filming yourself not every day but just sometimes periodically then you will realize you're making more gains than you think there's more potential in you than you realize anyway we're starting out with the wide grip seated row and the wide grip seated row is a very nice one to work the back thickness for sure. I like to start out with it because then I can really pull my shoulder blades back and I can really feel the contraction and the lactic acid building up exactly where I want. The moment that you're not able to pull your shoulder blades back anymore on a rowing exercise, you know that it's a too heavy of a weight and you need to lower the weight for sure. As you can see right here, I'm keeping my back arched, especially when I contract the back and I pull my shoulder blades backwards to be able to contract the back properly. Because a lot of people seem to find it difficult to build a good back. And yes, it isn't easy. It's a very large muscle group with a lot of smaller muscles. Very difficult to hit all of them efficiently and effectively but that's why you should make every single movement count that's why i like to stretch all the way down and contract all the way up with every single exercise so you can hit as many of those small muscles to create a big wide thick back and here I'm about to do some lat pull downs behind the neck and I'm wearing a new tank top by the way by Vintage Genetics, get it on the website if you're interested, a new vintage bodybuilding tank top that actually shows off your gains. The straps are pretty wide though so you need to have some broad shoulders to be able to wear it properly. But I really like this tank top because it shows the back development, especially the traps and that's exactly the reason why I'm doing this exercise. If you look at the traps you can see them stretch when I'm going up and you can see them contract when I'm going down. You really want to pull this bar into your neck but at the same time focus on those traps you will uh, work the back you will work the lats but if you want to work the back thickness you got to put your mind where you want your muscles to grow that is definitely a great help and then we move on to a high row machine basically rowing from a high point pulling it down low and again I'm arching my back as I'm contracting to be able to properly contract the back and pull my shoulder blades back so if you look closely you can see me stretching all the way up and then going down slowing down a little bit on a contraction so i know that i'm not cheating not using too much momentum to be contracting the back because a lot of people use so much momentum they basically pull the weight to their back but without actually fully contracting and they go all the way back up again that's not what you want don't cheat on your own progression guys don't waste your own time make the most out of every minute every second in the gym here you can see again that the traps are properly contracting and stretching as well as the rest of the back even into the lower back if you do it properly and then of course the old school golden exercise the dumbbell pullover it has actually been a while since I've shown this one on camera but don't forget that I've been doing this consistently and this has really brought up my lat width the thickness around the lat area and especially the serratus which is pretty much the rib cage like muscles that really give your back from the front a 3d look on the front of the biceps on the front lat spread on the abs and thighs pose for example so this is a really awesome classic exercise it doesn't only work the back but also when you look at my stomach the vacuum you actually work 
the very muscle that is responsible for holding in your stomach. So I personally don't train abs that often at all because I realize that during exercises like this, I already work the part of the abs that I want to work. And I'm also going pretty heavy on this one. I think I'm having a 44 kilo dumbbell right here, which is close to 100 pounds. And I do this to get a maximum effective stretch on the lats, because the bigger the stretch, the stronger your back has to contract to be able to pull the weight back up. And I told you we were going to work on the rear delts a little bit. My rear delts are pretty developed. Um, in comparison to the average rear delt on a bodybuilder, which is why I'm only doing one exercise. But if you notice that your rear delts aren't developed or underdeveloped even, then certainly do two rear delt exercises two times a week uh, during a shoulder workout or behind your back workout, which I recommend. You already warmed them up. They're pretty much you know, filled with blood already, but you want to finish them off with, for example, a rear delt dumbbell fly like this. If you look at my traps, I'm not really contracting them, I'm really focusing on the rear delts, but the moment that I start failing, right here, I start working the traps as well, giving me some extra force reps to really push all the way until my rear delts are dead, to be resurrected again the next day, being a tenth of an inch bigger. I hope. And after three of those sets, uh, by the way, the rear delts, I always like to do high volume. So even if it's only three sets, I like to do 15 to 20 reps on every set to really fill out that small muscle group. The heavier you go, the more your traps do the work. And that's not what you're focusing on during that movement. And right here, the machine bicep curls is a really great way to warm up the biceps before moving on to, for example, our regular barbell curl. But I really like like this exercise because of the full tension from the bottom to the top if you do it right if you look closely if you see my body you can see that I'm uh, bent over a lot over this uh, machine over this pad and that's why I do that because when I'm going upwards I want the tension of my biceps to still be maximum just imagine if I would be sitting lower the tension in my bicep at the very top would have been lessened and that's not what I want I want to challenge myself every single inch every single centimeter of the entire repetition now that I warmed up the biceps and the forearms a little bit I'm going to do this one which I haven't done in a long time the reverse cable curls normally I will be doing the regular cable curls, but now I want to work on the brachialis of the biceps as well as the top of the forearms. I notice that the bigger my arms get, the more my forearms um, lag behind. Not the bottom of my forearm, but the top of my forearm, which is what I'm targeting with this very exercise indeed. Normally I would be doing an exercise like this at the very last, but now I'm doing it as a second exercise so I have some more energy left left to work on a weak point and then this exercise guys it may look like a regular dumbbell curl but if you look at how I'm performing it I'm thinking about what Arnold Schwarzenegger said about this exercise he said that he felt the best contraction ever doing this very exercise and so what you need to do is change up your body position your body stance as you're doing the exercise and you can see my upper body changing the stance and the position a little bit as i curl the dumbbell upwards and i do this to get a really maximum contraction and you can see it especially on this side as i start to struggle getting the weight up you can see that my arm is moving forward my front delt is helping my bicep a little bit to be able to curl upwards still where I would normally have failed but the contraction is still a maximum you really want to feel a hard contraction so turn the wrist outwards as you curl up to get a maximum tension on those biceps which is what we want if you want to make them grow anyway guys that was the workout of today i hope you enjoyed it and there's a lot more videos coming you guys a lot more nutrition videos i'm about three and a half weeks out from my competition right now so i will give you in-depth information of what i'm doing at the moment such as carb cycling my supplements 
my diet in general, my training, etc. So thank you for watching and don't forget to stay golden.